Hello YouTube and welcome back to Outsiders. Um, today's video is an RPG review of the Savage Worlds of Solomon Kane. This is quite a hefty volume actually, uh, being a little over 350 pages big. Um, I like the, the book a lot, um, I have to be honest I was quite impressed. This is a system that runs off the Savage World game. Now I, I've got to be honest, straight away I had no knowledge of the Savage World game. I don't know why it had slipped um, my role playing, you know, to be honest with you, as a system, I mean, it came out in about, I believe, 2002, 2003, from the small amount of information I have, but the more important facts are it is powered by that system. Um, the first thing that struck me when I picked up this book is that it's, hopefully you can see as I move towards the camera, it's very well put together, colour plated throughout, quite enigmatic pictures used throughout the book. Um, it very much captures the feel of the novels. Um, the person that wrote Solomon Kane is also responsible for people like Conan the Barbarian, How, uh, H.R. I always get his name wrong, Robert E. Howard, I do apologise. He um, it clearly captured something I think is very important. It's very strange to me actually, I, I, I really don't understand why this particular character isn't more recognised actually. I think the period is brilliant for role playing in 15, 15th, 16th century renaissance sort of feel to the world. It, Solomon Cain's a Puritan, his vengeance is basically to track down and kill off the many creatures of the devil really. Um, uh, track down and find the many sources of evil if you will. It instantly lends itself brilliantly, I think, to um, a very gritty, almost if you know the Warhammer world, you know, that feel, that very grittiness is in this game. Um, that, you know, obviously it's based and it uses the world map of that period, 15th, 16th century, as its basis, instantly does a few things very well, I think. I think the first thing is that it allows you to really ham up the character voices uh, if you play this game and referee which is brilliant because it's you don't have to come up with some accent or you know something that maybe doesn't quite fit you can throw a french voice if you want a character to come from france you know so you can put your yeah but in my, yeah, i'm sorry but from german there um french accent so you can do the um Mais oui, uh, yes, uh, indeed, I am um, Patrick Giavon, I come from uh, Gaston, you know, I mean, you can do whatever you like in it, and I think it's um, absolutely awesome for that, and it's really easy to get into. Um, I like the fact that the system that they use, this Savage World system, it's very simple. I mean, I've been saying this in some of my videos for a while now, that it, what I like about it is uh, what they call a... Um, a universal role play system and um, that's always tricky to do. GURPS is another sort of example of a universal role play system and um, it's always very difficult to do because they never quite work very well but I think the choice of that system for powering this game clearly works very nicely. The magic is just about right, low key, the combination of sword play and a little bit of firearms, I love it love it to bits actually, I think it's brilliant. Um, there's a really a, a great deal to recommend this game. I mean, I just think that if you put yourself into the shoes of the designers, I mean, it's brilliant really, because you've got the best of all worlds if you're a fantasy buff like me. You've got everything you want. You've got a recognisable world, very easy instantly to get into. You've got historical facts that you can put into the mix and still twist to fantasy. You've got a time period where there isn't really that much technology, but just a little smattering of firearms, which is great fun. Um, I haven't seen the Solomon Kane film. I can't comment on the film, but I've seen a few snippets of trailers. What, what I can definitely say is that it, you know, that it has a really good atmosphere to it. It's dark. Um, it's really easy to uh, lend itself um, for a role play type game. The other thing about the book, I suppose, that's probably quite key is it's split into two halves. The first half really centres around what it would be like to sort of venture in a Solomon King world, the various areas that people could visit, you know, your Africa's, um, your Europe, your, your Great Britain, you know, what it, what it's like there, the feel of that. I think the book does a very good job on that. The, the system that they used for 
uh, Savage Worlds in this is very well explained. In fact, actually, this is a very good point. This book has the Savage Worlds system in it. So in theory, you could buy this book and never use any of the Solomon Kane stuff and have the Savage World rules at your fingertips and adapt it however you like. There's certainly some mileage to that. Um, in UK, this costs me £25. Um, I think it's a very good bargain, actually. I, I think there's so much to recommend. And at the back of the book, one of the things that's really interesting is they've got an entire an entire campaign, and you can see, I'm just going to flick open a random page. You know, they've, they've mapped out a campaign idea here. This particular bit is about Bali. Um, sorry, it's about the Cali, sorry, in Cafe. Uh, cafe. cafe. Um, about the various um, cultists of Cali. And um, what I like about this idea of plot point campaigning, and I'll explain that in a second as well, is that it pretty much at your fingertips you've got a ready-to-made game. Now you can run it in any order pretty much you want, except for the last two that are supposed to be run in order. You can add in your own bits and it wouldn't lose a beat, and the characters effectively have an overall story arc that they can that they will ultimately follow. And all of it does sort of make sense. If, if a new DM is out there thinking, how do I build a campaign? I, I have to be honest, I think this is a really good example of that um, in a nutshell. I think this is absolutely brilliant for it because it, it gives you a starting premise, some simple ideas, and then still makes it feel as if it's free-forming. So you still have some feel um, to actually enjoy it. I think if I was running it as a new DM, or even I'm you know, thinking about where I would utilise this game at some point, maybe in the future, I'm not completely convinced for myself whether I would use the Savage Cane's rules that are in here for it because I think the game world idea is superb, but I might give it a go. Um, but what I was thinking is to have a map which is the various locations marked on bar the final two, don't put them on, and just have some small snippets of information like clues or rumours about those areas and let the players pick whichever one they want and go there straight off. And I thought, uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. it. It might seem a bit contrived, even a little bit corny, but I think it's a really good idea. So I'm going to quickly recap anyway. Simon Kane book very de details the world very well. Um, it has the... Savage World rules in it, for all the rules, uh, which work very well for this game, for this genre. It's based around late 15th, early 16th century. There's a lot to recommend it. Um, it's a book that has impressed me a great deal and has made me want to look a little bit more at some of the other Savage World stuff. So I would say in my scoring system, this rates very high indeed. Um, I haven't play tested it yet, which is going to be the crux of the actual as far as the material in it goes, as far as campaign and background material, brilliant. As far as the rules regarding Savage World, can't comment on that yet, but I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. But overall, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 4 at this stage, um, which is a very good mark indeed, um, and strongly recommend the Savage World of Solomon Kane. If you get a chance, take a look at it. There's some other videos out there about other people who've obviously been really into this game and highly, highly enjoy Sol Solomon Kane and what it has to offer. I think I'd be among those. Anyway, thanks for your time. Happy gaming to you, and see you next time. Take care.